In a few easy steps, I want to show you how to make a star chart, a star finder. And a star finder that looks like this. Uh, I have mine colored, but I have a, a handout for you, is three sheets. And the first sheet looks like this. This is going to be the bottom sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and write on there bottom just so I help you remember that this is the bottom sheet. Then we have a round disc that is the star night sky. So this is going to be the middle sheet. Then we have a top sheet right here which is the star finder sheet, the top sheet. And this one's interesting because you want to cut out the center of this one and the outline. So that's your first step, is to cut all three of these out. Okay, so I've cut out my three worksheets, bottom, middle, and top. I'm what I would like to focus now on the bottom and the middle one. The bottom has a hole in the center, a little a place that's marked, and the star chart has a hole that's marked. This is gonna go on here like this. So I'm gonna take my brass fastener, push a hole in there and twist it. Okay. Push a hole in here and twist it. And now I can sandwich these together with this on top, my brass fastener, and so I end up with the brad being folded down and when I turn this back over I can rotate my star chart with my north, west, and east alignment. Okay, and we're about finished with this. This one's pretty simple. You take this, it's got two lines that say fold. So I'm going to fold this back. This is the top sheet. It's folded back. There's one fold and two folds, so top sheet is folded back. And now these fit together with the star finder pointing north, slide this on, and when you turn this over, you push this snug into the corner, and two pieces of tape. Put a piece of tape here, and a piece of tape here to hold those folded pieces down. Piece of tape here, piece of tape here, and when I turn this over, I have my star finder, the center rotates, and what's interesting, the rotating part has months, so that is related to revolution as we go around the sun, and the, the top sheet has hours of the day, which has to do with rotation. So we have revolution around the sun and rotation spinning on our axis. Now to use these, for example, let's dial in, let's say February. So at the top, uh, February, January, February. And if I go out at uh, 9 o'clock tonight, I need to find 9 o'clock right here. There's my 9 p.m. Rotate around. So I get February, the, let's see, the 5th or the 6th or the 7th. There we go. On around. 9 p.m. and February the 7th, right about there, there's my 9 p.m., there's my date, and now what I need to do is go outside at night, face the north, at 9 o'clock, hold this up, and what I see in the night sky, if it's clear of clouds, will be the same star chart. But you notice, as time goes, as we rotate and revolve, the night sky changes, so we have to change our hourly rotation to match the night sky. And so this is a uh, star finder, and it's easy to use, easy to make, and if it's a clear night, this is a great way to explore the night sky.